you and me are bored of regularities Living all the dreams, playing all the games And getting high on love, we're invincible Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this very New Year's Eve glam inspired makeup look. It's like an Arabic kind of cut crease. It's so beautiful. It's very dramatic but I feel like it's so flattering. The cut crease part's easy. It's just the uh, the wings that I found a little bit more difficult than usual because they curl up instead of just going out to the corner of my tail and my brow. But otherwise, it's not too hard to achieve, guys. It's quite an easy, achievable look. Easy? I don't know. I feel like easy is probably a bit of pushing it out there. It's medium achievable. Like, I feel like if you took, you know, practiced a bit, you'd be able to get this, honey. Trust me. If I can do it, you can do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me, lovely, before you leave or any time during this video so that I know you like these kinds of tutorials and also make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave as well so that you can join my YouTube fam and I'd love to see you in my next video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and have an amazing new year. Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So of course I'm going to start with skin today. I want to create a nice flawless base for this gorgeous dramatic New Year's Eve look. So first of all, I began by priming my skin with my Skin Denavia Primer Spray in Oil Control. Just so that I can control the oils on my face because it is summer over here. So I'm going to get more oily and greasy. So this just helps me, like, helps me not be greasy throughout the night and helps my makeup last longer. Then for foundation, I'm going in with two today. I'm taking my Ready Set Gorgeous um, foundation in the shade Medium Beige and mixing it with my Matte and Poreless Fit Me foundation in the shade Creamy Beige. Just because I like the colour um, with the Ready Set Gorgeous foundation, but the Matte and Poreless one keeps me Matte and Poreless, so I like to mix those two together to create the perfect finish to my foundation. Next for Consuela, <laughs> I'm going in and highlighting as well as concealing with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And as you can see, it's quite it's, like, it's a shade or two lighter than my skin tone, so it will highlight. So I wanted to make sure. That I created an even highlight to the face, it wasn't just boom under the eyes. Then I went and buffed that in with my concealer buffer brush from Zoeva. So when I'm doing a dramatic look, I like to like highlight the center of the face. It kind of brings those features forward and also creates an all-rounded even look rather than just like I said, boom under the eyes. Next, I'm doing a cream contour today, guys. Just because it's such a dramatic look, I wanted to do quite a dramatic contour today and I find just cream contouring I love it so much but I really only do it for more dramatic looks so I'm placing the darker shade from my Australis cream contour kit around the perimeters of my face so forehead cheekbones around my chin area and also jawline to really sculpt that part of my face out and I blended it in with my Chi Chi beauty sponge so I just use dabbing motions not to disturb any of the foundation underneath and guys, I swear, cream contouring just looks so natural. Like, do you see this finish? It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> then to highlight, I actually went in with my Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline in the shade Iridescent and just placed this on the high points of my face. But I made sure to avoid my chin and above the brow bone. Because um, it is summer here, I don't like to highlight like the chin or above my brow. Because I can tend to look quite oily on my forehead and chin area, so I avoid highlighting those areas. But otherwise, I highlighted all the other places because I wanted a gorgeous below. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Next, I'm going in and setting my concealer with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135. And all I'm doing is just using using the little, using the little powder powder puff that it comes with, and just basically kind of baking the concealer in place. I'm baking that powder on top of the concealer areas. And also any areas that I tend to get oily. And then I just set a light dusting of the rest of that powder all over the, the rest of my face. Just to lock my whole makeup in place so it doesn't get like all greasy or oily or fade in any places. It just locks it in. Then I went and spritzed my face with my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. To make sure it was doubly locked so my makeup was not going to move throughout the night. It also got rid of any excess powder that might have been sitting on my face. 
So next I'm moving on to the eyes and I'm actually going to prime them and create a nice even base for the eyeshadows on top with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm basically applying this from lid to brow bone to, like I said, create a nice even canvas so it gets rid of any uneven tones, veins, redness, anything like that that might impact the eyeshadows that we apply on top. And I'm just setting it down with my like bone kind of, just like a creamy white eyeshadow. I'm just packing that on from lid to brow bone as well. And I'm kind of all over the place here, so I go back and do my brows because I wanted I wanted a really structured brow for this really dramatic eye look. So I went in with my powders instead of my brow pencil to create that really structured brow. And then I went and set those um, hairs in place with my Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel. I've done a really in-depth tutorial of my brow routine with the brow powders. I'll link it up in the cards if you guys want to check it out. Otherwise, let's move on back to the eyes again. So I'm going in and applying a white eye coal, like I'm just applying a dot on either side of my eye. I'm mapping out where I want those wings to finish. Then I go in and place this gorgeous eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Shimmer Shimmer all over my lid from inner to outer corner. Just packing it on there, going ham with that eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with my liquid liner. And guys, I swear, this hyper sharp liquid liner from Maybelline literally saved my life. Like it was so easy to apply like to create these like wings with this liner it's got a fine tip to it so basically I, I guess I, like you see here I'm just doing the outer edges of my eye first so I do that wing to where that white eye cold dot is and then I just bring it back down to the corner of my eye then I'll go in and do the inner corner of my eye afterwards I just find it's easier to break up the wing in two and I filled it in I just, oh, I just can't get over how these wings guys I'm so proud of myself and I just love this black liquid liner like it's so good and then for the inner corner, guys, I actually accentuated the inner corner of my eye, so I brought it down on the inner corners and created a little feline, little point on the inner corner. And I brought it back to the lash line, on, like the bottom lash line on the inner corners. Next, I'm grabbing this like precise um, shader brush from Zaweva and this transition color that I usually use, like I said, as a transition color in my crease. It's a nice light brown, so it's a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. I just mapped out where I was going to create that outer corner cut crease. So I used the tip of the brush and angled it on an upward angle as you can see to kind of blend out that line as I go so it's doing the blending for me and it keeps a nice sharp edge to the line as well. Those bristles kind of lie against the eye socket. Then I took a slightly deeper brown from the same palette and did the same technique. So I held my brush on an upward angle Using slight little shading motions, I made sure the bristles were lying flat against that line that we created with that transition color and like blended as I go. Like I said, I just love this technique where you hold the brush upwards so the bristles are shading, like blending the line out as we go, but also creating a nice sharp line at the same time. Like I said, I bring it about two thirds of the way across, or well, maybe like a third and a half. <laughs> Once you have your shape as you would like, I go back in with my transition colour and just further blend out the edges of that deeper brown so it's super smoky and soft. Next, I go in with this black shadow from my Morphe 35W palette. And as you can see, I'm actually pressing the edges of my bristles against my eye and flicking it upwards. This just helped me create a more um, sharp line. Then I went in and just kind of continued along that shape we created before. And I wanted that black to fade in so it was deepest where the wing is and then as it continues into the center of my eyelid my eye socket it kind of fades out then taking that deeper brown shade that we used before on a pencil brush I'm just softly blending out the edges of that black I don't want to completely blend that black away I'm just kind of blending out the edges softly so it fades into the browns and I like to use the brush bris I like to hold the brush on an upward angle so the bristles are kind of keeping to the edge of that line but also blending as we go Next, I'm taking a petite crease brush and some of that transition color and just doing the same thing. I'm blending out the edges of that brown so it's soft and smoky and there's no harsh lines. Once you guys have your nice little shaded cut crease, I'm going to take that liquid liner again. And I'm just going to carve out that black line so it's really deep and dark. So making sure that it's the thickest when it starts from the liquid liner on the outer corner and then it just tapers in towards the inner corner, like towards... Um, the end of the cut crease. Then I go back in with some of that black eyeshadow to kind of smoke out that liner so it's not so, so it's not so harsh. 
the ones I, I can't go back in with all the shadows guys so I go in with that black and just fade out the black liquid liner and I go back in with the brown fade out the black then go back in with that transition color to fade out the brown let's go back in with them all to kind of like I said just create that nice seamless smoky look so next I'm going to actually spritz my precise shader brush from Zoeva with some setting spray and I'm going back in with that Zoeva eyeshadow and I'm really carving out that crease so uh, because it liquefies that eyeshadow, it's so easy. It's much easier to apply to the lid and get in those really hard to reach areas. And it also just helps create a more metallic look to the eyelid. And once I've done that, I applied some mascara and lashes. And guys, these lashes, like, can we just take a moment? These are the ones from Icona lashes. These are the Midnight Collection Make Him Miss Me and Girl. Oh, they were totally doing that. That was so pretty. <laughs> Next, I'm going to tightline and place a black eye coal on my waterline. This is the Obsidian Eye Coal from Makeup Geek. And as you can see, I went all the way from inner to outer corner, girl. And also brought it down along my bottom lash line as well, to, so I could smoke it out afterwards. I made sure it was a bit thicker on the outer corner and kind of tapered it in towards the inner corner. Then I went in with that black eyeshadow again and just kind of smudged it against that black eye coal. So it created a more smoky, sexy vibe. <laughs> then taking that brown eyeshadow that we used before, I'm going in with a Zoeva pencil brush and just smudging the edges of that black out so it's more smokier and it's not so harsh because I do feel like just leaving it with the black would be a little bit harsh, honey. And it just kind of ties the bottom lash line to the top lash line with those browns. Then I go back in with a transition color and just smudge out the edges. And then I went back in with some of that black on the precise shader brush that we used before and just really wiggled it against, tightly against my lash line so it, to deepen it up again because I felt like the black got a little bit lost. Then finally I placed on some bottom lash mascara. Then I went and highlighted my brow bone really quickly with Ice Queen in Shimmer Shimmer and voila, that is the eyes done. I'll do the inner corner a bit later guys but for now that is the eyes done. <laughs> Next for contour, I'm going to actually first of all bronze. I wanted a more dramatic face shape today, if that makes sense. So I went and bronzed with my tapered bronzer brush from Chi Chi and did the perimeters of my face. I went quite dramatic with my bronzer. So as you can see, I brought it quite close to the inner corner. I oh, sorry to the outer corner of my mouth. So it was very dramatic. I looked very cut. <laughs> and to contour, I went in with my breakup contour powder from Makeup Geek. And I just used my NP set blush contour brush to carve out my cheek. Next, I went even more dramatic and I placed some pressed powder underneath my contour and just baked it there for a little bit to really carve out those cheekbones. For blush today, I went with this gorgeous muted rosy tone in the shade Infatuation from Makeup Geek. It's such a gorgeous blush. And I just applied that to the contours of my cheeks and up a bit. The t I'm so up. <laughs> I can't speak today, sorry guys. <laughs> And up my temples a little bit as well. Then I just dust away that um, pressed powder to leave myself with gorgeous carved out cheeks. Now for highlight, I went in with Shimmer Shimmer. I've been loving highlighting with it lately. It's so beautiful. And I went, basically went ham. And like I said, I went in with my inner corner highlight around that liquid liner, not to cover it up. I just went in with Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer. Then I finished off my face with a setting spray. I used my Skindinavia finishing spray in oil control. For lips, I'm going in with a Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in um, Commando. It's a gorgeous, like, pinky, brownie nude shade. Really, really pretty. Then I wanted a little bit more pinkier, so I went in with Pale Plethora, which is a liquid, a matte liquid lipstick from Zoeva, and applied that to the center of my lips. I wanted more of a glossy finish, so I went in with my 3D Effect um, Lip Gloss in the shade Rose Romantic from Bonjourist Paris. And that is the finished makeup look, guys. I have a little glossy lip and a nice, sharp, winged liner, like Arabic look. It's so pretty. I really hope you enjoyed it today, guys. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And comment below your thoughts and any other, like, looks that you'd like me to recreate for you. Otherwise, have an amazing New Year's. I love you all so, so much. I'm so grateful for you guys as you have been made such a huge impact on me. And I just, I feel so blessed to have such a loyal subscribership. Like, you guys are amazing. Have an amazing New Year's and I'll see you very soon. Bye.